All right, let's do study link 3.10, parentheses and number sentences. Um, the first thing you just want to remember is parentheses are what you do first in math. So here we go. Um, just remember, this means divided by. These are both divided by. So 45 divided by 5, think about that. Hopefully you know that is... 9, and then I have 9 times 3. Hopefully you know that is 27. All right, for the next one, uh, 4 times 6 in parentheses, so we do that one first. That was 24. And add that to 9, think about that. And your answer is going to be 33. Okay, the next two I think you can probably do on your own. Let's go down. Now we have... Uh, two parentheses, but we'll just go left to right to do these. So 25 divided by 5, hopefully you know that's 5. 8 times 4, think about it for a moment. That would be 32, and now we have 5 plus 32, and I'm going to let you figure the answer out. And the other one, um, you can just do on your own. Now looking down at the next part, <coughs> we have to put it in parentheses to make the number sentence true. So, let's see. I'm just going to try different places. So if I put it here, 3 times 6 would give me 18. 18 plus 4 would be 22. That would not work. So let me try something else. If I put the parentheses here, now I have 6 plus 4 is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. That is good. Let's look at the one below it. First, <coughs> we need to figure out that this one is only 4 times 7. There's nothing else there, so we can do that first. We're looking for 28. Okay, well, if I put them here, that's going to give me 14. And can you do 14 times 3? I would use partial products. So 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 4 is 12. It's 42. That is not going to work. So let me erase that. And now let's see what happens if I put it here. Now 7 times 3, you should know, is 21. 7 plus 21 gives us 28. <coughs> so that is good. They're there. And same thing for these other ones over here. Just figure out where they go. Um, try different methods, see which one works. And yeah, you can do those on your own. All right, now down here we need to do two sets of parentheses. So um, again, we just need to play around till we can find the answer. So over here, um, I know 72 divided by 9 is the only thing on that side. So I'm just going to solve that really quick. And that would be 8. Okay, now just try and see if we can get something that's 8. How about if I try here, will give me 6, and here will give me 2. Oh, and I got it the first try. There it is. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Okay, over on this other one, I don't think the parentheses are going to go around this because in fourth grade at this point, we're not really ready to do 35 divided by 42. That's possible, but not yet. But this one we could do. So if I put parentheses there, that's going to give me 7, right? And then 35 divided by 7, think about that. That would be 5. So, where can I put the parentheses on this side to get it to be 5? Would it work there? Or would it work? over here. What do you think? Try them out and see if it gets to 5. And I'm not going to tell you which one is right. You'll have to just figure out where they go. Either around these two or around these two. Okay. Moving on. Uh, now we're just doing true and false. So let's just do a couple here. And let's see. Um, 6 times 5 divided by 3. There is no 
equal sign, there's no greater than sign, there's no less than sign, that is a question mark. We don't know if that's true or false. It needs to have a question mark or a less than. Or not, it needs to have an equal sign or a less than or a greater than. It has none of those, so that is a question mark. Let's look at the, look at the one below there. Um, okay, we have 4 times 6. We know that is 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. 30 equals 25. That is false. That is not correct. And let's just look at one more. How about 18? So what do we have here? Um, 64 divided by 8. If you know your square numbers, that is 8. 12 divided by 4 would give me 3. 8 times 3 is going to give me 24. And this says that 20 is less than 24. That is true. There. And try the other ones on your own. And now we're going to do some just simple addition and subtraction. If you were in my class, you need to please um, write these on the back and show your work. And I'd also like you to try to use partial sums for the addition. Let's just do one of those to refresh our memory. So first of all, <clears throat> be sure to write this with nice columns for your ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. And now for partial sums, you can go from left to right or you can go from right to left. It's really up to you. I'll go from right to left. So four plus nine is going to give me, think about it, and that is 13. And then I have 90 plus 60. That will give me 150. Please use very nice, neat columns. Now we have 400 plus 700. That is going to give me 1,100. And finally, we have 3,000 just by itself. So we just move that down 3,000. Now we add up our columns and the answer would be 4,263. And the other one, please again, use partial sums. 5,000 5, plus 4,000 is going to give me 9,800 plus 200 will give me 100. And then you do the rest on your own. Do the tens place, 50 plus 60 the ones place three plus eight <clears throat> then add them all up for your answer and for the subtraction subtraction just do it whatever method you want but please be sure to show your work okay that's it thank you very much for sticking with this and goodbye